Hey everyone, what's up? Vulcanabate here. And just here with a quick tutorial on how to actually install mods for Trombone Champ. Because apparently it's a little bit tricky for some people. So, first off, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we download uh, Beepin EX. And it really depends on the system you're on. Most people will just need the 64 bit, but if you're running on Linux, then obviously you go for Unix. That bad boy, I've already got it, but just for clarity, so we want to make sure we have that. Which means we'll then get a folder like this. Now, to install Beepin itself, we'll need to go back to Steam. Now, what you can do is you can do right click, manage, browse local files. What that does is it then opens up this bad boy here, which is just the trombone champ folder itself. Now, with the beeping EX, all we need to do is just click and drag that bad boy over. Yeah, you can skip that file because that's just the change log for beeping, and it then replaces like the change log of the actual game. So not really super important obviously from here once we've done this we can't just install extra stuff just yet what we need to do instead is we just boot it we just need to boot it once just um, for the fact that this actually helps to create all the extra folders that it might need. So now that it's loaded, uh, we'll just take this so we can close it nice and easily, and quit. And now it's closed. So now, now that we've got that, and we look in here and we see a lot more folders. Because if we go back into here, we've only got the core. So now that we've got this, we want to get the next one, which is Tromp Loader. This is how you actually get all of your custom songs to work. We just click on the .dll. Now, if you're smart, you can actually like travel to where the game installation is and the Beepin EX plugins. Make sure it's plugins, because otherwise it will not work. So then we just hit save. And it's now in the folder. So if we just go back to Beep and EX plugins, it's in there. Now, once again, now that we've done this, just gotta boot the game again. It's a bit annoying to get all the folders set up at first, but once that's done, that's done. Easy as. Wait for it to load. We. Now we can now just alt f We go back into Beep and EX. We see the custom songs folder. This is where you put in your custom songs. So say for example, we have uh, One Winged Angel, which I've downloaded before. Now, this this is also very important. When you see the folder like this, so you got the zip and the folder, just click and drag it over. Do not rename this folder or it will not work. That is very important. Now once you've done this, that's it. So we can now go back into it. And as we last time like we boot it. Really wish that there's a way to skip all the Intro stuff, but it takes a little bit to go. Start. Now, if we go play, yeah, whatever, whatever. And now we'll see one winged angel, and that's it. Pretty simple stuff.
Hopefully this helps. Shouldn't be too hot from here. 